Good morning everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Oh, I am so excited. It's my last day at work today for a month. For a month. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. So it is about 7 o'clock. I've got an hour before I start work. I've got a bit of tidying up to do before work. Deef had a little bit of fun last night. So <laughs> we have uh, this bit of mess to clean up. I've got a few dishes to put away in the kitchen. And yeah, I just want to stay on top of the house because everything or every single room is done apart from the floors. So either I'll do a little bit in my lunch break and then the rest of it on um, once I finish work. But I want to just get all my floors done today so that the whole house is done by the weekend. I don't know what I've got planned for the weekend yet. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm sure we'll get up to something. I'm just going to quickly tidy up this mess. <laughs> And then get stuck into some work and oh, eight more hours. Eight more hours and I'm off work for a month. Oh, can you believe it? It is lunchtime. Um, I'm going to make a little bit of lunch and tidy up the kitchen while I do it. I'm going to make those, is it bull duck? Bull duck? Bull duck? I don't know how to say it. Those pink noodles I'm just obsessed with at the moment. So I'm going to make some of those for lunch. I don't think we've got anything in particular planned for dinner. So that'll be good. That'll keep me full for quite a while. So yeah, I just thought I would show you how I make them because I don't really make them according to the packet directions, but I've just gotten some ideas off TikTok on how other people do them. So first of all, we're going to head out into the garden to pick up some shallots uh, and then we'll start making the noodles. It is, I'll bring you with me, but it is stinking hot today. Uh, I think it's about 34 degrees outside. I don't know. I haven't even ventured out here. Whew, I, whew, yeah, no, it's hot. I was going to say, oh, it's not too bad, but yeah, no, it's hot. It's actually, oh, you want to come, Deefy? You coming with me? Get some shallots. I call them shallots, but they're really spring onions. Here's the temperature today. What are we on? We're only on 32 today which is not too bad but yeah it's it's fairly hot oh and I want to show you at night the um the little starburst solar lights that I got from Timu they're looking lovely they work they're they're really good so I'll show you those I have to remember to film it at night um, and I'll show you those tomorrow so yeah they're really good all right, let's just head down to get some shallots. We do have, not shallots, spring onions. We do have some um, growing here, but I've been picking at them. So I'll let them grow a little bit. We've got a heap of them down in the garden, massive ones. So I may as well take some of those while we can. I don't know what we've got growing in our veggie garden at the moment. I think it's been a little bit neglected. I think everyone's too busy doing other stuff, but we do have stuff growing in here. I have no idea what it all is there, so don't ask me. <laughs> I very rarely venture outside. I know this massive thing here are asparagus um, because you've just got to let them grow crazy for the first year and then you start cutting them back and they start to grow proper asparagus. So you can actually see the stalks. Um, but yeah, you just got to let them do their own thing for one year and then apparently they start growing proper asparagus. So I have no idea what that is. It could be weeds for all I know. I have no clue. Don't know. Um, I think we're trying the pineapple again, but I don't think it's working. Um, there's my shallots, so we're going to get some of them. 
These are tomatoes. I know that. We've got a few on there we could probably pick off. So, but we'll leave them. We'll just get our shallots for now. Look how big some of these are. Like, look how fat that is. So, we'll get some nice ones. I'll sit you in the garden while I cut some off. Some of them are looking a bit worse for wear, so I'll get rid of them so they're not taking up too much energy growing. See. I, I don't take the whole shallot either. I just, um, maybe I should. I'll try the whole shallot. Let's try, cut that whole thing off. That'll probably do for my soup, I reckon, on my noodles. And we'll leave the rest growing. Cool. I think that's turmeric. Could be wrong though, don't know. I think this is some sort of maybe beetroot or some sort of potato, who knows. But let's get back inside. It's too bloody hot for me. No flies today though, which is really strange and fortunate. Hey lady! I'm just cutting some shallots for my noodles and making a noodle soup. Oh, the noodle, the baduck noodles that I like. I need shallots. Hey, Rolly, you all right? I should give you some carrots. We've got heaps of carrots. Nah, I'm going inside, it's too hot. Too bloody hot. See, when I take my shoes off and put them on the shoe rack, it really doesn't take that much extra work, people, whoever belongs to those. <sighs> oh yeah, it's pretty warm. Whew, Where are you going? To get some shallots. Oh, you get them down the yeah, because I've been chopping away at that one and it's looking a bit sparse, so I thought yeah, you get some big ones. Funny there. Oh, this yeah, no, they and they're good because I use these a lot. Like it's actually the one vegetable that's actually useful. So it's literally the one that you don't have to do anything. Yeah, well that's good. Definitely keep that as a as a regular thing. Well they've been growing for about two years and they haven't yeah. Oh, is it the same plant that's been growing for two years? Yeah, oh, good. And what, what are you supposed to do with the asparagus? Are they still to just grow themselves for a little bit? Is it still... Maybe the second time, they're going to start harvesting next year. Oh. You know, just about some of them. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, there's actually new asparagus plants now growing off the ones that are there. All oh, right. So, once... Once you start like harvesting them, will they then grow to a normal height as well, like the regular size, or do they still grow tall like that? Well, that's the asparagus, but that's what you're looking at there. Right, so you, you harvest them when they're that tall and then just cut them up and use them? No, like you harvest them before they get that tall. Oh, right, them. I see, I see. But you've got to still let some grow, otherwise the plant will be just chopping the plant up. And right. And you know the shallots, what I'm chopping up? Like, am I supposed to just chop the whole shallot off? Or if I cut the tips, just the tips off, does it continue to grow? Yeah. It does. So all that, the tips that I'm cutting off will just regenerate. Well, the other one here is starting to grow. I... Yeah, well, that's what I thought. Yeah. You could probably harvest the dill now, the one that's there. Yeah. And put it in a little bag and freeze it. Oh uh, yeah. Would it freeze? Can you freeze dill? Because it's very yeah. delicate. Would it yeah. actually freeze all right? Well, you're only going to mush it up into your body. Well, oh, that's true. Because if, if, you, if we harvest all that now, because there's more growing there, it's going to start to sprout up. Yeah. So I'm thinking if you. If we harvest the dill now, yeah. put it in the freezer bag and freeze it, yeah. and then hopefully by Christmas you'll we'll have enough, more. you'll have more to harvest. Yeah. Um, I might do that today actually. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea. We 
because then, because you, you can't, can't, can't buy, well, you can't buy the stuff. No, well, I mean, last year, like, there was none on the shelf, and I just happened to ask the girl, I said, oh, you wouldn't happen to have any dill, would you? And she's like, actually, I think we just got a delivery of it, so it was still out the back. Yeah. But had I not asked, we would have gone without last year. And yeah, that's yeah, a pretty yeah. important bloody... Well, that's the main... That's the main, main ingredient things. for the whole dinner. It's the thing that makes it. So I think I'll harvest that. And that's why I've planted another pot of it. It's just starting to sprout up now. I think it grows pretty fast. So this is the noodles that I'm absolutely obsessed with at the moment, the Cabanara Baldak hot chicken flavour ramen. It's all over TikTok. I think they've got all different flavours of them as well, but I think they all basically taste the same. But this has just got like a bit of a cheesy, um, a cheesy flavour and cheesy sauce. With this one i have tried the black one as well which is also quite nice but it just has this rather than the cheesy mix so all we're going to do is um, soften up the noodles first Okay, so once the noodles are soft, I just sort of drain most of the water out. I do leave a little bit at the bottom. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to put all of our sauces and spices in. Put in a little bit of cream. Or you can put in milk if you want. Whatever. I've got a little bit of parmesan cheese. I just put a little sprinkle of this in just for a bit of sharpness, a bit of flavour. And then put like a handful of either the mozzarella cheese or pizza cheese, which is a shredded cheese. Just put a heap of that in there. And then put the heat back on low and then just mix it all in no one else in the house really likes this I think Michael's tried it he wasn't keen the kids are not really that keen I, I just love it oh it is so good Just let that all the cheese melt. Throw the shallots in, or spring onions, whatever you want to call them. And just basically mix it until it's all the cheese is melted and it's heated through. And that's pretty much it. Done. <laughs> Actually, looking at it on camera, it doesn't look that great. But I love it. <laughs> and then I just top it off with a couple of sesame seeds. And that's it. Done. Lunch is served. Well, I did it, guys. I have officially finished work for 2023. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I am off work now until the 8th of January. My God, it feels so good. It feels so good. Oh, and I tell you what, I am absolutely exhausted today. I had all these grand plans of mopping the floors during my lunch break, finishing them off after work, you know, making sure the house is all clean and nice for when I wake up tomorrow. I've done none of it and I'm not going to do any of it. I'm literally like I am so tired. I can like it's only 4:30 and I can barely keep my eyes open. So I'm not going to do any of that today because I've got all day tomorrow. I don't need to rush around and get it done today. So I think I'm just going to have a real rest tonight. Probably get into bed early. Um 
you know, after that lunch, I don't think I'm having much for dinner at all. Like, <laughs> if I do, it'll probably be like a bag of chips or something unhealthy and not very nutritious. But I'm just, yeah, I'm so full after those noodles. And it's probably those noodles that have made me so tired as well, like all the carbs and everything. But yeah, who cares? No one cares. <sighs> I'm not working anymore. <laughs> So I think what I'm gonna to do tonight is I'm just gonna sit down for about half an hour and make a little bit of a plan for the next few days of what I wanna achieve in each day for Vlogmas. And I think then I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the night. Just put my feet up. I wanna catch up on some of the YouTubers that I follow. So I wanna catch up on those first. And if I'm still awake by then, maybe even watch a Christmas movie. Um, so yeah, what, what have I got planned tomorrow? So tomorrow, I basically just want to finish cleaning my house, giving it the Christmas clean and just, you know, making sure everything's where it needs to be. And I tell you what, I think I've actually inspired Michael. I mean, Jamie's not been here this week, but I don't think I'd have, I, I would have inspired him either way. But um, I think I've been inspired Jesse and Michael to really get on top of their own shit because Jessie's done a major declutter of her bedroom and tidied it all up and it's looking super neat and all organized. And Michael's just gone and done his YouTube room today. I mean, I don't know if you've seen, I don't really go in there much in my vlogs, but I probably have gone in there a couple of times. And if you've seen it, there was just shit everywhere. There was boxes stacked up and just crap all jammed on the shelves and just shit everywhere. And he's just spent all day today cleaning up his whole YouTube room. So he's decluttered that, gotten rid of all the stuff, put everything on the shelves neatly where they belong, took all the excess stuff out, and all his YouTube room's looking all flash. So, yeah, <laughs> live it like Lisa's, rubbing off on people by the looks of it. So it's really good. And I think now that pretty much means every single room in our house is actually complete organized, tidied, um, it's being used for its purpose. We've got no junk rooms anymore um, and it just feels great. So tomorrow I think what I'll do as well is once I've done, it's mainly the mopping I just need to do, like just do a quick vacuum and mop all the floors and then I'll take you around and show you each room now. So yeah, it's only taken eight years of living here but we're finally, finally at the stage where every room's being used for a purpose and it's all organized, it's all neat, everything's in its spot, there's no junk rooms, there's no let's just dump it here for now rooms, it's all done. Oh, it feels so good. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm so excited. The little things that get me excited. So yeah, Michael's just gone to pick up some stuff from the post office. I think we've got a few orders that have come in. I don't think he's gonna make it back in time for me to put it in this vlog, but if it's anything exciting, I'll show you guys tomorrow. Um, let's quickly do the advent calendar. I know there wasn't much today, but today is the last day of not really much happening. Uh, at least tomorrow and every day leading up to Christmas, I'll have a full day to film some stuff and do some stuff and, you know, get some activities organized and things like that. So bear with me. Today is the last boring day, but let's quickly do the advent calendar. So it was seven yesterday. We're on eight, day eight. We've got a little tiny one here. Um, we got a little chocolate, a little chocolate bar. I'll have that when I sit down and catch up on my YouTubes. So yes, I'm so looking forward to planning some activities now for, for the rest of Vlogmas. So I will love you and leave you again. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas day nine. Wow, we're nearly halfway already. Oh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you tomorrow.